So this is when they were actually like mocking up the packs and stuff in the colors. Exactly. exactly. I found a hidden Pokemon card store and it's in that building. Hello? Hey, how's it going? Hey man, how are you? Pretty good. Just wanted to come in and kind of see what you got. It's uh, pretty cool to see a, a big old office building in a, in a card shop in the office building. Yeah. Uh, we're trading card world. Um, you know, we've been, uh, been here for three years and uh, we got a pretty good, uh, pretty good layout. And, uh, we lot, do a lot of tournaments and- uh, Is there any chance that you can kind of just show me around of what you got and show everyone in the heart squad what you got? For sure. Awesome. Should we start over here at the glass cases? Yes, sir. All right. Go. What do we got? Because this is a, it's a bit intimidating. There's so many different types of awesome cards in here. Yeah, this is where we keep a lot of our singles. Um, pretty much people that want to play, collect, do sets. This is where all the singles are going to be here. Um, anything that's overvalued, $10 or over. Anything under, we, we have on the website and TCG player. But this looks cool because it looks like you have like that Blissey Prime right there. So you got a mixture of old and new cards. Yeah, and there's, they're actually somewhat in ABC order. So- Oh, really? Um, a through like C, I think is, is in here. Uh-huh. And then they, it goes down. So kind of keep things in order for the most part. Wow, that's really cool. I see you have some graded down here. Is there any significance to those that are at the very bottom down there? Uh, no, those are actually just some, some cards that uh, we actually graded in. Some uh, that next Eevee Pikachu, uh, the Eevee, uh, uh, that Eevee sticker card. Oh, whoa, what is this one? I haven't even seen this one. It's a sticker card. So like, uh, it's it's from way back in the day. Uh -huh. um, they're, they're, these are pillable stickers here. And you can pull them off and stick them on there. What do you, so what do you got in this one? Cause I'm looking down there and the shininess from those top tops cars are calling my name. So that is actually the complete set of a rainbow foil top set. All rainbow foil. All the existence as far as we've seen together. Uh, maybe somebody has one in their collection somewhere, but. Um, so it's a completely graded set? Completely graded rainbow wow. foil. Wow. Yeah. That looks gorgeous. The light really shines off of those, <laughs> the cards in the middle row. Just taking a another look at just the variety of cards in the glass cases. I mean, there really is uh, a really nice variety to check out in each of the glass cases. And then again, down here, is that part of the same set? Yes, sir. Just, uh, keeps on going for keeps on going. across. Yes, sir. Oh, then he got some of the A-Spec trainers from the newest set. I'll have to come back here and Get some of those for some of the decks that I've been building out and stuff. Go into this one. Yep. Looks like this is more more vintage. Vintage. Yeah, Japanese and vintage. Um, wow! Look at that. Metagross holographic, Zapdos Kingdra, and you got some Japanese holographics too. It's always really cool to see the variety of cards. Got the Mewtwo Kids WB promo and Pharos from uh, Expedition, I believe. Dark Espeon. I mean, this really is a, really just awesome for myself to see yes, of coming into a shop just like when I was a kid and they had all the vintage holographics and everything in the display cases, so. Yeah, we try to keep a variety for, for every customer that comes in here. And what do you got in this case? Looks like some um, other PCGs. Yeah, we gotta have One Piece. One Piece. It's gonna be a mixture of One Piece, Dragon Ball, Yu-Gi-Oh. Some Yu-Gi-Oh down there. Um, some video games, um, a couple jumbo slabs. Star Wars. Oh yeah, look at all that. I got the video games down here too. That's awesome. Uh, wow. Looks like you have a lot of stuff on the wall as well. Uh, I just want to ask so I can show everyone, is it okay if I kind of come back, get a closer yeah, look, especially at this over here. This just calls my name. It's so cool to see a booster pack type of uh, display Spencer kind of thing with Tons of the newest sets. And he even has some older sets down here. Steam Siege. And these are, yeah, these are all for the, each of the packs, some Japanese packs as well too. Oh, and look at that. Got some evolutions and evolving skies and celebrations. I need to get some celebrations for the code cards on the inside. Do y'all have random codes by chance to purchase here at all? Oh, uh, we have, we possibly, yeah, we have thousands. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. May have to hit you up for that. So that's really cool. Just taking a look 
It's just all over random first edition Blastoise card at the top. I love the display. You really do have a pretty nice variety of boxes and items. What are some of your favorite just newer sets that are out? I think uh, my favorite newest set. New celebration. Probably, uh, I really like Obsidian Flames. Um, I don't mm -hmm. know, like as far as the newest sets go. Yeah, Obsidian Flames and then you got some of the building battles. And look at that. Got a lot of hidden face ETBs. That's probably definitely one of my favorite sets of all time oh, when it like, came out. Yeah, within the past 10 years, that's definitely one of my favorite sets. And then you got Temporal Forces and some booster bundles, the Twilight Masquerade. And of course, you also have Lorcana as well. What's this? That's right actually there? the new uh, Mirrorverse for uh, Weiss they brought out. Just came out last week. So this is not like Disney 100, is it? So I think it's part of the Disney 100 rollout. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. I think it's a five year long uh, deal there. Okay. And then, of course, you have a variety of different sports boxes as well too that are here that's always nice and tons of top loaders and then what are these some plushies yeah so these... a squirtle plush from like pixel mon or something yeah so or, it's like i forgot app. it's like an app on the phone uh-huh it's, it's a pokemon game um, i forgot which one i i think i know what you're talking about calls them the minecraft pokemon the minecraft pokemon, pokemon. Yeah, that's what they call them they call and then you have some more blister packs and individual boosters and some figures as well and some ultimate battle decks Look at that. Tons of these from the 151 UPCs, I believe. Bigger shot of everything. It looks really cool. Thanks so much for showing me around so far. Oh, by the way, I got something for a giveaway. I like those words. What's up, man? We're going to give away a classic collection box. A classic collection box? Yes, sir. We'll give it, give it away sealed in the case it comes in. So for the collectors out there, if they want to keep it sealed in the original case it came in, before yeah. you actually see the... Uh, oh, really? So, do you have it here? I do. Let me go get it. Let's go get it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. A lot of people don't see them sealed. This is what everyone's going to have to do. That is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and what's the, what's the question of the day for them? Sorry to put you on the spot. No, no. Yeah, what's, what's, your, your, what's your favorite generation Pokemon? For a chance, at a still in the box, classical collection box. Thank you so much for that. Sure. Is this like another entrance right here? Yep, this is one of our entrances here, the side entrance. Oh, nice. Directly to the, uh, I like it. Makes you feel welcome with all the posters and everything. And then what also makes you feel welcome is, uh, what's these? What, what do you got on the wall up there? Pokemon Stadium 2 promo poster. Yep. That's a. I haven't really seen that much as much. And you got uncut sheets of Pokemon cards just casually on the wall. What set is this? Fossil? Got Fossil, another Pokemon Stadium. Got another Fossil. Another Fossil, uncut sheet of the holographics. Another Pokemon Stadium too. And then you have a third one. Look at that. And then of course you, you said you have tournaments and everything. Yeah, tournament every Friday and Saturday. Stuff that instantly caught my attention was what's going on in this glass case. So this glass case has a lot of unique items. Uh -huh. um, first off, we got the uh, fossil fourth print packs. Um, if you notice the actual logo of the pack itself, where it says Pokemon is red. Yeah. Um, they're normally yellow. So these were fourth print um, printed and also made in uh, for Australia. For Australia. Um, so it's really, really hard to find these. Yeah. Um, and it's also really hard to get fourth print cards. And this is the only way you can get them. And what's this down here? That is the first Pokemon movie. Um, it's Wait, the Mewtwo Strikes Back movie? Mewtwo Strikes Back. Wow. It's the uh, first first part of the reel. There's, I believe there's two, um, uh -huh. two reels. It's the first. First part of the movie. So should we just pop that in right now? You got a I mean, projector? I, I, you got a projector around? I've actually been looking for one. I can't find one. <laughs> Random cool books. The trainer's manual. It looks like it has actual Pokeball erasers. Yeah. Up here we got the uh, Pokedex that actually still works. The original Pokedex. Yeah, the original Pokedex. Got the stickers. I think I've seen stickers, those. Yeah. Got Ma McDonald's. McDonald's, a little faded, but I think we got a It's one still back. very nice. What are these things? So these are actually pretty cool. Um, they're card dispensers, so like deck boxes. Really? So you would pull the side of it and the card shoots out the... Oh, no way. Goodbye yeah. PSA 10 condition though, probably. And then we got some... Uh, we got some of the old binders. Yes, sir. Man, you don't see that one too often. You don't see any of these ones no. too often. Well, when they come in, we try them. to keep them. We try to keep them nice and... And then, wow, what you got going on with these cards in there? We got FBOs, four position only. So 
A lot of people know about them, a lot of people don't. These are yeah, you got like the, the Charizard one. There's the Charizard yeah. one. But then you have a Blastoise. Yep, and Arbok. actually, believe it or not, that Alakazam's the one we pulled with you in the video. Oh, uh, wait, really? The, the first edition one? one? We pulled the Charizard. Wow. And then the, the Rayquaza Gold Star. Yep, you always gotta have a... Worlds cards. It's a random black label right there. Yeah, just a random black it's label. Just a random, it just looks really nice. And then you got some Dragon Ball cards, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Those are such gorgeous cards though. And then he got some of the Star Wars cards. I noticed this room over here uh, is with a big live sign. I'm, a, I'm assuming that's the streaming room. What's going on yeah, in there? Yeah, come on. The uh, streaming room, this is where they do ripping ships, auctions, various platforms. Nice. Looks this, legit. Wow, this look is at that. That's where the magic goes down. It's like another store within the store. Wow. Yeah, oh my gosh. Tons of packs. Ready look at that down room. there. Tons and tons of packs. It's so nice and organized. And I love this little like Pokemon TCG to make it even fancier. I'm assuming this is like the background of it. Yep, yep. And then we got the actual where the actual magic happens is in this area right here. Fancy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and I love the little shadow box of Pikachu. I noticed these binders. What's going on with these? So these are, uh, these binders are filled with um, Lorcana. Disney 100, um, just various uh, various cards. Uh -huh. We got a lot of Japanese One Piece in here too, uh -huh. as well. Uh, a lot of SRs. And then what's uh, in chases. this big one right here? So in these ones here, oh, this I guess Pokemon cards. Yeah, five dollars a card or seven for thirty. So a lot of people go with the seven for thirty. Um, uh huh. This is a better deal. But we have various cards. These are all Japanese in this uh, in this binder here. Uh huh. So they're going to be various cards here. I guess we got a couple of pops in here too. Nice. And um, then what about this one? This one's pretty much the same realm. I think this is a little bit older for the most part. Oh, wow. Um, I think a lot of tops in here. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're trying to complete a set, we definitely have a lot of those to, uh, to help you with that. And then again, we're back to the GXs, uh, uh -huh. Japanese. Um, some Watsy hollows. I really appreciate it. You so far uh, showing me around the store. And of course, don't forget to chance at the classical, it's a classical collection box, right? Yes, yeah, sir. yeah. The trading or the trading card game classic box. Uh, it's really nice of y'all. But of course, before we go, you got anything we can open up? I got a couple things. So I got a whole binder. A couple things we can open. Okay. I think we start off. I think we start off with two hidden face packs, a little pack battle. Between love us. it. I love it. Okay. And then we'll go on oh, to the... Uh, are these the Australian packs these are that Australian were inside? fourth print. Oh, okay, but not the ones that were inside there. These are fourth print. Wow. Uh, we'll, we'll rip these. Okay. And then uh, we'll show you a couple things too. Okay. Wait, what's in here? So this is actually something that probably 99% of the community has never seen. Okay. You got these me intrigued. These are flow charts from the original fossil packs. No way, look at that. So we even got the notes on it, the lines to tell. As it say, please changed. note, we have changed the color. So this is like when they were actually making the packs and everything. Yes, sir. Is when they were actually like mocking up the packs and stuff in the colors. Exactly, exactly. Wow. And you can actually see we got the uh, the regular uh -huh. fossil pack here. Yeah. When you turn it, we got the Australian. And then you got here. the Australian. What does it say on? I think people want to know like, what are the notes? It says wrong. Wrong color need to change. Oh, that's for that area because that's a little like brown. Yeah. Missing yellow dot. Yeah, and it's, it's so crazy. I just love the detail this. they wow. actually put into these packs too. Uh huh. There it is, right there. Let's see proof of approval. A proof? What is that? Like they? they she she finalized it and approved it. No way. What is this one? So it's basically the same thing. Flowchart. These are all the different uh, the art sets. My goodness. Uh, so they're just saying for the different things, wrong color, because even like the fossil symbol and everything yep. is a different color too. Yep. My goodness, there's like a ton. Wait, what's this thing in the back? So in the back, we got a couple crazy things here. So we have the original mock-up of the uh, coin that came in the uh, wow, look the, at that. the box here. Uh huh. So this is the mock-up they would uh, they would cut it here, and this is something. What is that? This is the original design they were thinking about doing uh, for the hollow pattern. So um, I'm a, glad they didn't do this design, by the way. But yeah, yeah, same here. So, but this is like from? This is from Wizards of the Coast, from the uh, the people that approved it. That's where this all came from. It's an uncut holographic sheet of just the hollows. 
That's so neat. Here we got a fossil pack. This is, you see some writing on there. This didn't make the cut for the uh, the final production. Uh -huh. As you can see some differences here. So the fossil logo itself is different. On uh -huh. these. The color is different. Um, this is one that got put in production, but they marked That's it wrong that they didn't want this one going there. It would have been a lighter, lighter brown. They're one for the darker color. That's awesome. You can actually see with, with these how much darker Oh yeah. the pack is. Yep. Now, I think it's time I think to it's open time. some packs. All right, I think it's time to pack battle. And what do we got? We got these two Hidden Fates packs. These are gonna be a very nice warm up. It's a, a, again, like I said, one of my favorite sets of all time. So, all right, should we make some calls of what, like, do you think you're gonna pull a shiny? Do you think you're gonna pull something, like a specific card at all? What do you wanna do? What I do think I'm gonna pull a Charizard. You, oh, okay, that's yeah. a bit bold, but okay. Yeah, I, uh, just... I think I'm just gonna pull a shiny. Shiny. We'll yeah. go with that. So let's see, we can open it up at the same time. But then once you get to, let's do the I have four cards. I do want to do guess the energy. I'm going to guess, of course, at y'all at home, though, a psychic energy. What about y'all? Oh, I think I just showed them. You just showed the. I, I think so. Well, what do you think? But you can guess. I think right? it's going to be a fighting energy. All right, let's go. Oh, All right, well, we're both wrong. And let's see as I make sure it's in focus. Away, away we go. You got the Misty. Misty, there you Misty's go. Misty's determination. Dude, Pikachu, you got a Caterpie, Clefairy, and I think the, oh, I got a shiny. Wait, wait, wait. You got a, oh, you got a holographic. Yeah. I got an Orang Guru, it always twists my tongue, and oh, oh. wow, look at that. That's I a get great card. Pats on back for myself That's for pulling both of those. So I believe even this one used to only be a few dollars. I feel like it's been it's getting a bit up. more popular these days. Yeah. So a full art and an Oranguru shiny Pokemon. That's a perfect pack right there. Yeah. I think we're, we're gonna have to, uh, how do we choose which one? Just like this? Uh, yeah, I think we just go for it. Okay. And uh, what we want out of here is we want a non-holo rare. Why? We don't, we don't want a holographic rare. The non-holo rares are fourth prints and the copyright at the bottom uh -huh. will be 99 to 2000. So I don't know if you can see it on the, the camera so there. So wait, so you, you want a non-holo? Non-holo. Um, okay. The only way you can get fourth print cards for Fossil are out of these packs. But of a non-holo? Of a non-holo, yeah. If you get a holo? The holo will be... Wait, right oh my gosh. So is there any in particular one that we need to be getting so in? The Gengar, we want the uh, okay. Dragonite. Um, those, I mean, sell over up $1,000. In, in, in really good condition. Okay. So that's what you want. You want a non hollow You are going to go first. And again, do the commons and uncommons, are those all fourth print as well? All the commons and uncommons will be fourth print. Um, and they all hold a lot more value than your standard. Uh, okay, let, well, let's see that potential Gengar then, right? Or Dragonite? Yep, that's what we want. Go ahead and open. The pack has been opened. And I think card trick is just, uh, is it three, right? Yeah. I, three. I don't know if it's different for these, but it's so three. cool. Good luck. Hey, you got a grappler. grappler. Let me try to zoom in. All right, there you, you go. You can see their fourth print at the bottom here. 99 to 2000. 99 to 2000. Cedra. I'm a star. Yeah. Shelter. Recycle. Psyduck. That's great. Slowpoke. Grimer, is this it? I think this might be it. Nope, one more. Holonite. And we got, nope, there's actually there's one, one more. There's one more, Gambler. Oh, it's a must. It's a must. But, it's non-hollow. 1999 to 2000, right there. Yep, this is the only way you can get these, non-hollow. All right, so that's a win. Yeah, it's a win. But, of you course, did. it's now my pack time, and I'm pretty sure, I think we can all we can beat a muck, right? Right? What do you think? <laughs> oh man, that's pretty, that's, that's pretty I'm rough. gonna beat him. Here's my pack. All right, so I'm gonna try to save the pack as much as I can. I'm, I'm like shaking actually. Uh, all the first edition base set packs and I'm shaking over this pack, but how much would these packs gonna go for, you think? I think within the 700 to $1,000 wow. range. Wow, all right, well thank you so much for letting this, us open them up today. So, all right, there we go. Starting off really nice with an Arbok. And it's cool just to see the 1999 to 2000. 
All right, any, so any fun, uh, gold luck, always gold, nice. Gold luck's always nice. Any other good and commons and commons that are maybe your personal favorites or? I really like Geodude, I think Geodude's pretty cool. All right, so we got Ammonite. Oh, there it is, there's Geodude. There we go, yeah, yeah and he's going crazy. Yeah. So a Geodude, there we go, so that one's, there you go, for you. Ekans. Psyduck, fairly nice. An energy search. Oh man. A horsey. I think we got one more after the slowpoke. Yeah, one more. Here we go. Do you want to you want to make a call? I want to say I want to say Gengar. Like I'm just gonna get a crazy. We get Dragonite. It. Okay. I'll Dude, take we'll either of those. And oh, it's a holographic this, this is the first time ever I'm not excited about getting a holographic. Hold on, let me get that in. So, right there, right there, it says 1999 on it. Right here. Instead of 1999 to 2000. The first time I'm upset about getting a holo. 